Welcome back, everyone, and welcome if you are new here. I'm Kayla Iman. If you're interested in seeing how I did these do-it-yourself glam designer books, make sure you go ahead, like the video, and stay tuned. Okay, so let's get right to it. First things first is you're gonna need the books that you want to use, get whatever size you need. I got my books from Dollar Tree for a dollar. Here I am showing you, if you just wanna do all white books, you can actually just take the book cover and fold it inside out, and you know, you pretty much have your white book. Simple as that. I actually did one of my books in white, so I didn't have to spray paint it at all. But yeah, that's how you would, that's how you would do that. Okay, so next you're gonna wanna paint the covers, whatever color it is that you want. I like to do spray paint just because it's faster, it's easier. Um, so yeah, I am using metallic silver in the first um, video and in the second clipping, I am using a off-white color. Off-white is my favorite color and I knew that was one of the colors that I wanted to do. So you're gonna see me, I'm gonna be doing the silver books, the off-white books, and then I have white. Now I am gluing the covers to the books just to make them easier to make sure that they stay put while I am working on the book. You don't have to do this to begin with. You can do this at the end or once you finish, but I wanted to go ahead and um, get it out the way before I started decorating the books. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into decorating book number one. Number one, I know I wanted to make it plain and simple. I have all this crushed glass. I'm showing you the Mod Podge that I'm using. And I have this crushed glass that I got from Michaels. It's leftover crushed glass from when I did my DIY mirror nightstand. If you haven't seen that video, that link will be down below. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty much going on and I'm applying the Mod Podge to the edge of the book. And then you're gonna see me go in and apply the crushed glass as I'm doing now in this clipping. Um, just to let you know, I did layer this crushed glass. So I let the first um, layer dry. I went in and applied more Mod Podge, and then I went in and applied more crushed glass. And then I did that a third time just to make it, you're going to see it at the end once I finish how it's very raised and very thick, um, which is what I was going for. So you see me doing this first layer here, but just know that I did this exact sip, same step. I'm getting tongue twisted. <laughs> I did the exact same step three times, okay? So now we're going in with book number two while book number one is drying. Um, this book is going to say Prada. Y'all, I struggled with putting these letters on. Um, they were pretty difficult to put on, but not difficult to put on, but just as far as having it straight. So you will see me go in. I'm going to adjust the letters a few times, pretty much a lot off camera, but that's what I'm doing here. I'm using these phone stickers that I got from Walmart. They were for, for like $2 each. They're very easy to apply. If you put them in the wrong spot, you can easily take them off and reapply them. I had no problem with that, and I really like these stickers for that. But yes, you guys, I know it's cricket, but I promise that I fixed it off camera. So now with the product books, I am going to go in and start applying these little um, snowflakes that have these pearls on them. If you seen my previous video where I did the DIY glam lamp from rust to bling, you will see that I use these. These are some that I have lower, left over um, that I purchased from Amazon. Again, all the links will be down below. I am using my hot glue gun to put these items on the books. I always use my hot glue gun whenever I want something to be added. I'm sorry, not added, um, adhered instantly. Or with something as heavy as this, I feel like the Mod Podge wouldn't set it right away. It would take a while to dry, so I wanted to go ahead and use the hot glue gun. That's how it looks. Now we are going into book number three while the other two books are drying. I am going in with this glitter paint. I just want to use this as a base for this book. Um, just so that it has a little shimmer to it before I put the letters on, but I got this paint from Walmart Again, everything will be linked down below But it's just kind of like this holographic paint that just has this slight shimmer to it That's going to give me the exact background that I need um, and that's that we're gonna set that to the side and let that dry as well on to book number four number four is going to be the Gucci book. I am applying the letters here Y'all, I was struggling with those C's in Gucci, okay? I was struggling. I was struggling with all the letters, but the C's were, was really it. It did take me a little while to kind of get them um, placed so that the letters look kind of straight. Even at the end, I know my lettering still is not going to be perfect, but hey, I got it in place. It was good enough for me, so um, that's what I'm doing here. And these are the same foam letters that I used for the Prada book um, that you saw in the previous clip.
All right, so we're gonna go in and add in some bling snowflakes. Um, these are similar to the ones that I put on the Prada book. However, they do not have the pearls. Um, I'm gonna go in and place three of these on this book. Um, I got these also from Amazon and they were also some that I have left over from my previous DIY video, um, which will also be linked down below. But yes, this is going to be the Gucci book. Um, and this is just how it looks for now. I know you've seen in the beginning how it was all like blinged out and everything like that. We're gonna definitely get to that um, in the later part of the video. All right, we are moving on to the next video. We have the Louis Vuitton book. Um, and I'm just going in and adding in the lettering here. These are the exact same letters that I use for the Prada and Gucci book. Um, and I'm just showing how I am applying those letters here. Um, Y'all, I cut so much out of this video. This video was so long. So I apologize if it seemed like it's rushed or if I'm talking fast or the video is moving crazy fast, but it's already a 20 minute long video. And I honestly didn't want to cut anymore out, even though I had already cut out a lot. I didn't want to cut out too much because I feel like you would miss all the important things, but let me get back into the video. Okay, so this is my picker that I purchased from Amazon. It's so cute. I have that pink one, and then I have another one that is um, has like the little white diamond pieces in it. But now I'm going in and I'm using my Mod Podge, and I am applying my pearls. On this Louis Vuitton book, I am doing only the cream colored pearls nothing else just the cream colored pearls i know you see me pour some out to the side i try to pour them all out just to make it easier for me to pick them um up with the picker versus keep going into the little container and trying to pick them out but yes i am using um all of the cream colored um pearl pieces that i have um i will fast forward it in a second i'm not going to show me place exactly every pearl um, that I put on the book, but I just kind of want to give you an idea of exactly how it looked. And you see here, I've kind of fast forward a little bit. We're moving along. Um, and this is pretty much what I did to this entire book. And you'll see the other books that I do. I, I use the exact same process. I apply the Mod Podge and then I'll go in and I'll, um, for the other books, you're going to see me apply either the pearls or the rhinestones. But I did this exact same step for each and every book. However, I did show these in the video because I know some people be wanting to see exactly how things are done, um, especially for each book. But yes, I included every single book that I've done. And this is the Louis Vuitton book completed. Absolutely beautiful, y'all. I love that color. That is my favorite color. Okay, so the next book, we have the Chanel book. These are um, some silver glitter lettering that I purchased also from Walmart. All this is in this, all the stickers are in the stationery section in Walmart, guys, and they're only like $2 per pack. But um, yes, this is the Chanel book. Um, this is also the book that I painted with the silver um, holographic type painting in the background. So you will kind of see it as I lift the book up towards the camera once I put all the lettering on. Y'all, I will say when I was doing this book I, and I was applying the rhinestones, I'm so mad because I didn't notice that the rhinestones in the two different packs that I'm going to show were different sizes. I thought they were the exact same size because after I finished the Chanel book, it's not the look that I was going for because I use all of the same color, um, same size rhinestones. I wanted it to look more how you're going to see me do the Gucci book later, once, is, which is when I realized that I had different size rhinestones. I thought the rhinestones were all the same size. However, it still came out good. It's still came, it's still gonna work for um, what it is. It's gonna go for the look that I'm looking for. However, I will say that I wish that I I wish that I knew I had them different sized rhinestones. I honestly thought they were the same in both packs, but hey, it's still gonna come out good and it's still gonna it's still gonna give me the look that I'm going for. So I was satisfied. Okay, so we have the finished Chanel book. She is beautiful. 
Um, this is the crushed glass book. You see how it's more raised and how it's very thick. This is how it looks once I um, did all the three layers that I was going to do. But here in this um, clipping, you're going to see me apply Mod Podge to all three books. I like to use Mod Podge to seal in um, pretty much every project that I do. It gives it a nice little, um, it gives it a nice little sheen and it sticks like nobody's business if you have a favorite seller that you like to use or you can recommend any other seller please feel free to leave it down below i always like good recommendations um but i am fairly new to the whole um diy projects and crafting and everything like that so mod podge has been something that i saw a lot on um youtube so that's something i definitely um like to use a lot and just make sure that you do not use a lot. You don't want to put on a super thick layer. You want it a nice thin layer so that it dries nice and clear. As you can see, I'm even going in through like the little cracks on like the rhinestones and on the Louis Vuitton book, you'll see me do um, going through the little cracks between the pearls just to make sure it really gets in there and just applying a nice thin layer. Again, this is going to dry clear. Um, so it's no issues there. I know it looks white now, but it all dries clear. I tried to make sure I did not get it on the lettering because I did notice um, previously, I think on the Louis Vuitton book, how it kind of, when it dried up, it kind of dried white on that black foam. So I just made sure if I got it on any of the lettering or anything like that, I just went on and wiped it off as soon as I put, um, if, if it got on the lettering. I, I just wiped it right off and it was no issues after it dried and everything like that. But Yes, you can see me here. I am just applying the Mod Podge to all of them just to seal them all in. Dior on my body. <laughs> no, y'all, I love Pop Smoke. But this next book I am doing is my Dior book. Um, this is probably one of my favorite books. It was one of the most simple out of all the books, but it just it just had this nice class to it, this nice glam to it. Y'all, I absolutely liked it. Um, I did think about going in and like rhinestoning it out like crazy, but I honestly like the simplicity of it and decided to keep it very simple so you're gonna see me i applied all the letters i try to make sure they were in um the middle as much as i could so i noticed they weren't in the middle so i went in and readjusted and you see how easy it is for me to just pull those letters off and then just reapply them and i didn't use any type of adhesive i only used the adhesive that came um with the stickers from when i peeled it off of the plastic sheet but yes, I love that. So I apply the letters and then you're going to see me. I'm going to go in and apply a few of those um, snowflakes. I already kind of pre-placed them on the books how I wanted to apply them. So then I took the hot glue gun and just apply them each individually. And um, the Dior book is pretty much finished at this point. I, I left it just like that. It, it was just beautiful. I absolutely love it. And you'll see in the beginning how I made the books. Um, they pretty much are sets. So I kind of have like the white and off-white set, and then I kind of have the silver and white set. Um, look at that, beautiful, I love it, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so the next step, I am going in and applying hot glue to the um, books. I am pretty much taking the, um, the covers and just gluing them down, gluing them shut just to keep them closed. We don't want any shifting. We don't want any moving. I just want to make sure they are all in place. So I did that to every single book, every single book. And then you see the white painting off to the side. I'm going to hold that up to the camera so that you can see this white acrylic paint that I also got from Walmart. That white acrylic paint, I'm going to go in and take and pretty much paint the pages. Um, while the book is already glued closed, I'm going to go ahead and paint the pages just to give it that that white clean look. So I'm showing you the brushes that I'm using. I use the foam brush for the bigger books and then I use the smaller brush for the smaller books. And again, here, this is the white paint. But I'm just gonna brush that on the pages and then you're gonna see me apply the Mod Podge after I did the acrylic paint. Um, acrylic paint doesn't take long to dry at all. It takes maybe about 20 to 30 minutes. Once all the acrylic paint dried on the books, you're gonna go in and see me apply a thin layer of Mod Podge. Again, just to seal in that paint to keep it from chipping. It's going to give it a nice little sheen, a nice little luster. And just to overall give it a nice clean finish. 
I will say I noticed one thing that I forgot to do, you guys. I forgot to paint or spray paint my actual books underneath. So you see how you see that redding there? I should have spray painted the edges of this book silver or went in and painted it silver so that you could not see that. I did notice it after I had already completed the books and I was just pretty much like, okay, I am, I'm not going back in and trying to, I've already glued everything down. I'm not going to go in and try to get paint and try to just get those edges. I felt like it was going to be too much. The way the books are going to be turned, honestly, you're not going to be able to, um, really see it and again it's in my bedroom i'm the only person in my bedroom it's not like i'm over there examining the books if someone does happen to come in my bedroom i will hope they're not over there like trying to figure out exactly what's wrong with the book or try to critique it so hard but if they do that's that's it's that's them that's on them it's a personal thing <laughs> but i will say that i went in and i noticed that but definitely on your books make sure you go ahead and either spray paint it or paint it so that it cannot be seen it's going to give it a more nice presentable look and very look more um professional more like it's more like you bought it that way but um yes i'll go ahead and let you guys get right back into the video All right, so I am back. I want to say it's pouring down raining, you guys. You might can hear it. I'm not sure, but I hopefully not. But these are the rhinestones that I am using for the Gucci book. I opened a second pack after realizing that they were two different sizes. So I'm going to go in and pretty much bling out this Gucci book. I'm using rhinestones and white pearls. I did not use any of the cream color pearls on this book. I really wanted this book to be icy. I wanted it blinged out, iced out. You know my girl Cash Doll, okay? Ice me out. <laughs> But no, that's what I wanted to do here. And I'm just pretty much showing you um, how I did that. I did it exactly like the Louis Vuitton book, except for I am using the white pearls and the rhinestones. You have already seen how I apply this on the previous, um, on the books that I did prior to this book. So I'm not going to show me do the whole thing, but I am just going to do a small little clipping of showing you how I did it. And then I'm pretty much going to fast forward to the finished look.
Um, really quick, just to let you know, I applied Mod Podge to this as well once I finished. Any of the books that you see that have any type of rhinestones or anything like that, I applied Mod Podge to seal it in and to make sure that it's really good, nice, and stuck and adhered. I did not show it for this book. However, again, I did it for every single book, okay? Every single book. guys once everything is nice and finished you get this beauty here you guys i love this i absolutely love this you can see my lamp in the back that i did for my last diy project and they're also sitting on my glam mirror nightstand both of those videos are linked below but let's just get a nice good close-up on these bling designer glam books y'all they are doing everything for me this whole corner okay the Chanel and Dior um, in the crushed glass, that's like the ice bling um, set. And then the other set is more of like a like a glam with the pearls and the rhinestones. So you got the ice me out set and then you got the glam set, okay? <laughs> but no, I love these. Um, feel free to leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you've done your own books. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, Kayla Iman here. Thank you guys so much for watching my video.